missed her. She's gone. Who is? My wife. She's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> What can I say, partner? Let's go! Now there's a leading man if I ever saw one. 
Hello there. What brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment? Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. But that is why I am to build my new film studio and make New Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years now I'll be here. I'll produce adventure stories as well as melodramas for the ladies and even some fantastical shorts for children young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently, the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves' Landing. If you could do me the favor to wrest control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. I'll see what I can do. Not much of a high-stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. And now he's run off to become a gunslinger, for real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Fool will have himself killed if you don't help. If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. Still. <laughs> this is a mess. Lord. 
John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go! All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales pattern, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, Rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. Greeting, 
Greetings, my good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods the best medicines and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! <laughs> Quit laughing at me. No, John, no!
I think my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. I thank you. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey! It's the snake oil guy! Gentlemen, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You a sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. This should even things up. Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough.
Don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. You stink! This will fetch a good price. Three lawmen the other week. Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. Go on now. <laughs> My wife is killing me. Right, I'm going, I'm going. Morning to you, partner.
was a shootout every day last week. Think I'll make a bid. I ain't gonna make it easy for you. I don't know about you. Well, Jack got tagged while he was dancing. Ah! Any pains today? I'm gonna be. You to pay cuz you're gonna be feeling it plenty. I'm telling hey, the truth. The wagon got robbed in Mescalero yesterday. Ride over that trail again. I'm gonna make you suffer. I just know there's gonna be trouble at the bar this week. Oh, well. God's you on his truth, Tony Pudis. Made a fellow in business for longer than ten minutes. Right you you look like a bullshit. You were great. Sour milk. They served up some man-sized ladies in Super Rosa, I'll let bid. me tell you. <laughs> You're a wily one, all right. Wow. Hello, hello. Yeah! Darn, not again! Do I look like a liar? Why don't David I make will a be drilled clean if he don't shut up? That's a lie. Sorry about that. I sure did call him a cracker back to his face. <laughs> you know that wild bully plays, don't you? I heard that real sense is found you. That's so, huh? Right. My bed. Those never sweats won't keep me from my business. I'll make way the monster could get one over on me. Mistrustful son of a bitch, ain't you? your movement this morning? Hello. Hello. There be outlaws down there in them caves. I see Davy's bones bleaching in the sun if he keeps taking pot shots at me. 
Another cold night ahead. I thought I had one of those trusting faces. I ain't buried yet. Hey! Think I'll make a bit. I bet this Marston's really sharp. Just can't figure it, can you? I'd say some blanket for being stretched there. Hello, man. Just once, I wish we could get some decent looking showgirls come around. Here's my bed. They were allergic to the truth. Any pains today? Unlucky, my friend. Served up some man sized ladies in Super Rosa, let me tell you. Interesting. You don't believe me. Those pepper gods just rubbed me the wrong way. Take my die. I'll bid. God's honest truth. 
That's a lie. Yeah. Two fellas came in, guns a blade, and ran off with some ammunition. Just ain't right for you for my smoke. I just know there's going to be trouble at the bar this week. The honest man is handicapped at this table. How are you? Hmm. Now, are you full of shit, I wonder? Hey, that's John Master. I'm so impressed. Sounds like bad onions to me. Bullshit. Another cold night ahead. Brave words, my friend. I didn't know John Marston was in these parts. Hang on. I don't care. that mountain lion's holding up by the Rio Bravo. Is that what you heard? Want to do, Mr. McFarland, right. Got work to do. Farewell. Be well now. Every barkeeper out here thinks that he can't taste the water he mixes with the whiskey. Interesting. I wonder. Think I'll make a bid. I think you're bluffing. I don't go out by Pox Basin no more. Not too symbolic when you ran me off. How do you do? Just once, I wish we could get some decent looking showgirls come around.
I bet this Marston's really sharp. You think I can stand around here all day listening to you? I gotta go. I'm gonna bid. You think we were born yesterday? That's a lie. Farewell. Bye, man. You get this die. Hey, Those never sweats won't keep me from my business. Right. My bed. Have your senses failed you? I'll make a bed. They were allergic to the truth. Take my die. I should have become a medium. How do you do? Hello there. Jack got hurt while he was dancing. Do you throw the dice? They served up some man-sized ladies in Juparosa, let me tell you. You? I'm gonna get my rights back on the pawn shop from the
happen to these folks? <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London, or Paris, or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world, where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. Well, at least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. I can't see you. Me neither. But a current like this will carry you for miles. We'll end up on shore sooner or later. Look out, bandits! There's too many. We'll drift down river. For the love of God! I'd give up now if I was you! I guess I got up to more mischief than I remember of the last disrespectful. Let's go with the river. They'll have to stop facing us eventually. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box than expected around. Good to handle on you! On top of the cliff. 
I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. Bastards. You want more? Damn! Too close! You got to go wrong, it wasn't me! Over there! They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. What the hell did you do to these fellas? I was told it was something to do with money and possibly some misunderstanding about a fella's daughter, but the details are Your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, they're big brown eyes. 
turn stone into butter, they would. Now, the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that funky? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williams. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Damn murder, sons of bitches! Fight that rock! My good lord! There's more fools behind that rock! Oh, 
On top of the cliff! Johnny boy, I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. God damn it, there's another two. We made it, thank the Lord. I'm quite glad to be getting off that boat in death. These horses look fresher <laughs> Woo! and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, Drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, 
Some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three card stud with him. Or was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a feck-ugly man, but not a bad one. 